okay <clears throat> so what i was saying is uh just we'll try to come up with another another scenario now in javascript where content of javascript we would like to display on browser we would like to display on browser this is one more technique i mean to say we already know about document dot write no doubt of it document dot write is also used to display content of javascript on browser we already knew it now i'm going to come up with another technique one more way and what is it so i just have used uh, uh foreground color as blue or better i call dark blue and uh, background color i call aqua and uh, font uh, size colon extra large x large and welcome that is what that output is okay fine let's run this code we already have executed but with font with the style we are re executing this right click view in browser yes Okay. Okay, welcome. Even I this applied also, and I have another technique font Now what I want, I'm looking forward to display the JavaScript content on browser, but not by using document dot write, another technique, some other technique. What is it? We know already about alert. We studied about prompt. We know about confirm. We know about document dot write. A new technique. What is it? Let's write for JavaScript. Script type equal to text public Java. Type equal to text object JavaScript. Then a equals a equals 178. B equals 229. C equals a plus b. Now you want to print answer. You want to print answer. To print answer, and where do you want to print? wherever we have a span tag it means in in this span tag your text what is being displayed is welcome in place of welcome you have to get your result result and the result should be like should display a message some is your answer that should happen so for that what you have to do is first as usual document dot 
we have a method called get element by id element is span tag all the tag which are in less than greater than symbols they are called element tags html head meta title body span script body whatever the other tag we have they all are in angle brackets they are called elements so i said here get element by id which element which element whose id is res whose id is res dot dot inner html is equal to i'll write sum of two values is plus c plus that's it so inside that inside inside the tag span tag we want result to be returned inside inside the tag we want result result to be returned then execute that code again first no doubt welcome has was javascript is about to execute i love blocked content the moment i click now you could see that same span tag welcome text will be overwritten by our message yes sum of two values is 407 that is javascript content where it is just being displayed is in span tag the font color font color and background color of the text both will make you understand that that is the style applied for span tag this is another approach in displaying javascript content over browser over browser yes let's go further add it and i'll just close all this yes add any file right click add new item then i say demo js 10 dot h okay now first thing how do you work with arrays in javascript how do you work with arrays arrays in javascript that part we'll discuss now Let's see, how do you implement it? Now, first point, when you create an array na, in JavaScript, always it starts like this. Script, type equal to text oblique JavaScript. Now I say, where ARR equal to square bracket 12 23 34 10 19 these are the values in this array now terminate by semicolon for understand this array variable. now what do you want to do now you want to check now length of the array so that you can access that length you can access that the elements of that array so how do you display now i just can say document dot document dot document dot write and i can say len equals to plus ar dot len plus break line Let me run the code and see that it will return length as 
right click view in browser allow block content undefined why undefined arr dot length o okay l should be small letter arr dot l l small letter i kept capital so that it didn't work refresh again five case sensitive i was already set list javascript case sensitive the way things are mentioned same way you're supposed to write i place l capital so is the reason it didn't work for right hmm. now i want to print all the elements document dot write first i'll show you normal technique what we know i'll write that we know for loop now we all know for loop we'll write for loop for index zero index and ar dot length index plus plus dot write arr of index plus break line yes yes not on the board normal section Length L small letter. Yes, five elements have been accepted. Now what I want to show you is, do you have any technique wherein you can display all elements directly? Can we? Can we do like that? No, oh, we'll try that also then. Okay, what do you, what exactly you want to do? Works on it secondary. We're just trying it. Document dot write elements of array R plus R. What is that? I'm not doing. I'm not using for loop. I'm not using. I'm not using what. Index position, nothing. I use direct. Okay, then come back. Execute. Yes. Interesting thing is, automatically all elements have been separated by comma. That is different. We don't have this technique in C sharp. This is possible only in JavaScript, not in any other programming language. You can display array directly. You don't even need to write for loop. Direct ARR will display all elements available in it. Okay, and one more thing. This also will try. This also. Come down. I just say ARR dot sort. Okay, come back. Execute. Yes, arrange. 10, 12, 19. 2334 for loop will work without for loop also work any way you try it's fine this sorting i did after printing elements using for loop okay just make that point clear uh, and one more thing. Can I add the elements? Obviously. ARR dot push. Push. If I right, come back. Refresh. 55 at last. 
Okay, don't sort. Remove sorting. Comment this one. Comment. Push always adds. Add last. After push, okay, you can justify in this way. I just make this as 30. 30, 30. Okay, now run. 30 will be at last. 30 is at last. 30 is at last. If you sort and push. Oh, sorry, one second. I'll just. I come, I remove sort. Yeah, 30 is at last. Now, after adding, you sort. After sort. First, add the element. Then sort. So now, after in adding an element, I'm sorting. So even in this case also, 30 would be obviously at last one. Sorry, after adding 30, after 23, we have 30 and then 34 sorted data. Okay, now here I say uh, uh, dot is array. Which one? ARR. So we just want to confirm whether document dot write array or not. It's only for confirmation. Save, run. I'll put this with break line. Answer is true. Yes, it's an error. Okay. Now, now next topic will be function. Right click on the folder, add new item. Here I should write demo js 11.htm. Okay, demo js 11.htm. HTML. First thing, function is nothing but a program, small unit in the program, small block in the program, which will contain one or more instructions, which will contain 
one or more instructions and those instructions always provide code reusability code reusability how would you do that simple script type equal to text oblique java in js for your understanding in javascript it is even i'll write break it. again i'll write document dot write end of java break it. in javascript break line and second is end of javascript break line and what i do next and we know if i run my code obviously you'll get two messages no doubt js 11 yeah now what i will do I will write function F1. Yes. Here I'll write document dot write. I'm from function F1. Break. This is a block. Now run the code. No, no output. Why? Because you have this statement inside function body or function definition. I am from function F1. That line is there now. Where it is? It is inside function body inside function definition and again in order to execute this line of code which is in function f1 you are supposed to call f1 this is function call function call now the output should be like this in js am from function f1 end of js yes writing only body will not help you to execute the code compulsory there should be a call for the function that is how functions will work in yeah now <clears throat> something important in this topic is now it is only function call okay control goes to the block executes whatever the code written in it will return back end of js last statement understand please what i said function call will go to the body will execute the code after executing it will return back and after function call, whatever the statements are there, those statements will be executed. That is what I said. Okay. Now we will cover another important part of this topic. What is that will make you learn a difference? 
of declaring a variable with and without using var keyword with and without using var var keyword what is it how does it make a difference okay now next part next part of function what is it now here we are going to learn the difference of creating a variable with and without using as keyword bar keyword add new item demo js 12 12 dot html and in this, we are going to learn now. what first comes uh, script type equal to text oblique JavaScript. I write function F1. F1. And I say here A equals 19. document dot write in js plus a break line copy this end of js In function A, I call F1. I change A equals A plus 5. A equals A plus 10. Chalo. Now see, this should be the output now. In JavaScript, A19, first message, 19. After that, 19 plus 10. 19 plus 10. 29. You should get output like, in function, A29. After that, 29 plus 5, 34. Then I should get end of JS, 34. Same output we are expecting. Go for it, 12. Yes, in JavaScript, 19. In function, 29. End of JavaScript, 34. message i come to a conclusion that whenever you create a variable in javascript that variable acts as global variable it acts as global global variable throughout the javascript it is available for accessing even if at all I create a variable with var keyword, then also answer is same. Same. 19, 29, 30. With the var, without var. You want to see different result? Change them. 99. Obviously. 109, 140. With var it is. Means with, with and without var. Both are same. What? Global variable. Now I write here, here, wantedly I write A equals 5. Now we are expecting this result now. In JavaScript, 99, 99 plus 10, 109, F1 function is called, 109 will be overwritten by 5, in function 5, 10 plus 
5 plus 5 10 and returns 10 but the output is what 99 5 10 yes here what is happening it's overwriting nothing else okay and do one thing change that now inside a function i created a variable with var remember the moment in a function if your variable is created with var it becomes local variable it becomes local local variable it means now scope of this a is within function scope 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 of function is within within f1 scope of function is what then within within f1 nowhere else now what is the result you are expecting you know now now in javascript uh, 99 uh, 99 plus 10 109 no doubt function is called a becomes 5 local variable in function a value is 5 5 plus 5 10 end of javascript a is 109 not 10 because the moment function the moment control comes out of that function scope of a is locked scope Scope of A is lost. That's it. Now you are expecting 99, 5, 109. Where do you get 10? You should create first A and then assign value. Now it makes a difference. Last value is 109, not 10. Last value. Yes. Here, A value 99. Declaration of A. Then A equal to 5 becomes local variable. In function 5, value of A is changed to 10. And when you come out, this 10 is not available for you. No, 10 is not available. Rather, A of script block is available for you. A value of script block, that is 109. Finally, last value is 109. Hope you are all you are all clear with these two programs, demo js 11 and demo js 12. How does it make a difference in global variable and local variable? When you create a variable in script block with and without using var, it is global only. But inside a function. If you declare a variable with the var keyword, it becomes local variable. Local variable. And if I, once you create a local variable, the scope of it is local to that block. Local to that block. Out of function, you are no more available with the modified value that is 10. Here, 5 plus 5, 10. 
this modified value will not be available. That's it. Tomorrow's class may in JavaScript, I'll discuss how to return values, how to pass parameters. And we have few technical things of it, and then we will come up with logical stuff of JavaScript. That is called event handling in JavaScript. First, I'll talk on those technical things of javascript after that the most important topic starts of javascript that is called event handling tomorrow's class i'll continue further